All right, today I'm gonna to show you a home hack or a gym hack, if you like, for some advanced lower back strengthening if you don't have a glute ham raise machine like this. So in the gym, what you'll need is a setup with a squat rack, or if you've got a Smith machine, which can go up and down, even better. But you don't have to have one, you just need a squat bar with some holders and some weights and a bench, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, this is advanced lower back strengthening. It's isometric, it's not glute development. There is a lot of glute work done, but we're trying to isolate for the lower back, and I'll show you what I mean. What you'll need is a bench set up like this. The bar is gonna be the counterweight. So if you don't have someone like a friend that's gonna hold you down on a bench like that, then you need to work on this bar being heavy enough to counteract your body weight. That's why I've got the weights on there. It's a crucial step, that one. This pad needs to be wrapped around the bar because otherwise it's too brutal on your legs and that bar, so this is just padding it out because when you put your legs through, you'll see you need to have a padding there because of the weight of the bar. So all you're gonna need is the bench, a weighted bar, and some padding for your legs because most of the work is done with your body weight. So this exercise here, and it's probably gonna look very familiar to you, but this exercise here is gonna be an isometric sort of plank in midair, if you like. Now this is advanced strengthening for your lower back. So it's not for when you're injured to try and strengthen you up. It's for either you're pain free, or say you're getting pain or a little bit of aching from weakness in those lower back muscles, and you do this as a strengthening tool to get out of that. So if you're doing this sort of exercise, this is a great little home hack for you to work on because you don't need to use that glute ham raise machine, you just need to use a bench. But here's some tips of how you actually do this exercise. Remember, this is not doing lots and lots and lots of hip extensions and back extensions like this. This is an isolated, isometric hold. And we're trying to get, yes, your glutes and your hamstrings working, so the glute ham part to hold me, but we're trying to get in a position where my lower back muscles are working really hard in an isometric position to keep myself in neutral and you've got to counteract with the core here. So this is you know, a really good one to do. So try and get yourself, so your hips are sort of almost right on the edge there, so you can bend forward at the hips, so your hip joint is right there, okay? So it's nearly at the end of that. You don't want to go too far forward, otherwise you've got too much of that body past the bench, okay? You also don't want to be too far back here because you're just going to work on your back is ancient, you're not gonna involve the hips very much. So the hips do need to be involved because they're the ones that are gonna extend upwards rather than your back extending, and I'll show you that too. So at this point here, at this point, I can see I'm pushing in with my toes to try and counteract my body weight so I can hold myself with my legs there. If you find that is too far down, just be careful with that. You might want to put the bench back a little bit so it's more on top of your car here rather than being further down. So just find out what is the best or most comfortable position for you is, and you may have to adjust this bar a little bit to try and get the right amount of height with that as well. So you can see that's a little bit better up into the back of my calves, and some people like that a little bit more where they've got more muscle to try and counteract that load. So at this point here, I wanna start down on my elbow so I can completely relax my lower back. And that's also gonna be your rest period set where you can let it go, which sometimes you can't really do on those hand range machines because the ground's too far away. So you're always holding yourself in mid-air. So this is a good one for you guys who are trying to learn the strengthening and don't have the strength to last that long. They can rest here because not everyone's going to be able to just do one minute plank out in midair. They've got to build up to that. So this is how you do it. So from that point there, what I don't want to do is just straight extend my back in that point there, okay, and load and jam up through here. I want to be, I want to arrive into that back extension, but I want to make sure I'm lifting myself self up with my hips, okay? So the glue and the ham is going to do the posterior pelvic tilt not the lower back doing massive extension and leave myself in an anterior tilt. All right, so from that point there, what I want to do is focus on, if you look at my hips, I want to extend my hips there, okay? So I need a bit of core on for that, but I'm trying to go, okay, I need a posterior tilt from glute and hamstring doing hip extension. So I'm pulling my pelvis into extension at that point, okay? To try and also keep a little bit of neutral here, all right? The core's really got to come on there, so I'll use everything with this, okay? You've got to brace your core quite a lot 
also use a bit of pallet floor. So from that point there, once I've got that, then I can extend upwards to there, and then I can take my hands away. And at this point, I've really got to start digging my legs in, and then hold myself here. And you might find that's pretty intense, and then you put your legs, hands down, back, and relax, okay? So you can start off with like five seconds, you know, 10 seconds, whatever you feel like you can achieve with a really good form, and then build from there. So this will be a repetition base. So you just go, okay, I'm gonna do another isometric hold, so posterior tilt, core on, you're gonna think all these components, core, glutes, hamstrings, dig my calves in, push myself up into that position, and then take one arm away and hold it there. And then once I've got that position there, really focus on that drive backwards so I don't lose any of this hamstring and glute. Trying to keep my back as flat as I can, trying to keep core on as I can, breathing at the same time, and maintain that neutral spine, and then coming down, okay? There will be some extensions with some people. You're trying to maintain a mostly a neutral spine. Some people like me are a bit of hyperlodotic, we have a little bit more extension than normal. But as long as you've got all your muscles on holding that isometric and you're not fatiguing in that lower back, then that's the key. Remember, what you don't want to do is be from there and then just extend into this lower back and really jam it up, or do repetitions where you're just going for gold here, okay? You want to do this as an isometric strengthening tool. So it is based on how well and how long you can hold that. And like I said, you know, rather than lifting yourself up from that point, if you're a little bit weak, as you push yourself up into that point, really hold on with legs because let's face it, if you don't have the strong legs, you can't do this exercise. Get into the legs, take one arm away, get in there and hold it. And you're aiming for at least a minute, okay, over time. You may find 10 seconds, like I said, is enough, and then you build a 15, 20, 30, like that. So that's a really good home little hack for you to do. Of course you can do it in those glute hand machines, but this way I find it's a lot easier to start off because you've got the floor, you've got that safety net, and you're only coming up a little bit because at the end of the day, this exercise is not about how much you can go from down there and extend, it's how long can you hold the neutral spine position. See how you go with that one. See you next time.